Hello, welcome to this tutorial on statistics. In this video, we'll be looking at mean of grouped data. We have our problem here. Calculate the mean of the distribution in the table. We have the table here with class intervals given and the respective uh, frequencies. Um, we have to look at the formula for calculating mean of grouped data, which is virtually the same as the formula for calculating mean of ungrouped data. So we have sigma fx divided by sigma f. By sigma fx, we are to multiply the frequency and x. And in this case, x is going to be the mid value of the class interval. We need two more columns, which is going to accommodate x and then fx. That is frequency times the mid value. So we have the two columns, x and fx. Now, how do we get x? x is the mid value of the class intervals. To start with the first class interval, we add the lower class and the upper class and then divide the sum by 2. So that 10 plus 19 gives 29. 29 divided by 2 gives 14.5. Then we go to the second class interval. 20 plus 29 gives 49. 49 divided by 2 gives 24.5. The next class interval, 30 plus 39 gives 69. 69 divided by 2 gives 34.5. The next class interval, 40 plus 49 gives 89. 89 divided by 2 gives 44.5. 50 plus 59 gives 109. 109 divided by 2 gives 54.5. 60 plus 69 gives 129. 129 divided by 2 gives 64.5. 70 plus 79 gives 149. 149 divided by 2 gives 74.5. 80 plus 89 gives 169. 169 divided by 2 gives 84.5. And finally, 90 plus 99 gives 189. 189 divided by 2 gives 94.5. We are done getting the values for the column of x. We then go for fx. For fx, we are going to multiply the frequency by the mid value. So 2 times 14.5 gives 29. 3 times 24.5 gives 73.5. 6 times 34.5 gives 207, 9 times 44.5 gives 400.5, 10 times 54.5 gives 545, 8 times 64.5 gives 516, 5 times 74.5 gives 372.5, 4 times 84.5 gives 338, and 3 times 94.5 gives 283.5. So the next thing now is to find the sum of the last column and the frequency column. We sum this frequency column 2 plus 3 plus 6 plus 9 plus 10 plus 8 plus 5 plus 4 plus 3 gives 50. 29 plus 73.5 plus 207 plus 400.5 plus 545 plus 516 plus 372.5 plus 338 plus 283.5 gives 2765. We then substitute into this formula. Sigma fx, which is the last column, the summation there is 2765, then divide by sigma f, and our sigma f is 50. 2,765 divided by 50 gives 55.3, which gives the mean of the distribution represented in the table. And that's all for the solution of this problem. And this is where we are ending this tutorial. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and share this video. See you in our next video. Goodbye.